I've had this tattoo for 12 years, and um, I can't hide it. And I'm pursuing a nursing career, and I feel that it's very detrimental to doing that. It's kind of an embarrassment to have, you know, on my arm when I go, like, to the beach with my uh, wife and my daughter. It's just kind of a thing I don't really particularly want there, basically for them and myself. Just an embarrassment thing that I had done years ago that I really didn't want done. They're kind of ugly looking. So if I can get rid of them, I just as soon get rid of them. Until now, there was no easy way to remove tattoos or pigmented lesions, like brown birthmarks, liver spots, and the dark spots caused by too much sun. Earlier methods burned or scraped the skin and could leave disfiguring scar tissue behind. But now, there's an advanced laser technology that removes tattoos and brown spots with minimal risk. This new laser produces pulses of intense light, which can pass through the skin surface without causing any damage. When the light hits tattoo ink, it is absorbed very rapidly and breaks up the ink into tiny microscopic fragments. Then, the body's natural cleansing system carries the ink away. Laser light can be different wavelengths. The MedLight laser uses two wavelengths, an invisible infrared light and a visible green light. The infrared wavelength is used to break up dark tattoo inks, while the green light removes red inks. It also eliminates abnormal concentrations of melanin, which is the pigment that is found in brown spots and birthmarks. Patients generally find the treatment quite tolerable. First, safety goggles are used to protect the eyes. Then, the laser is moved rapidly over the skin. Its strong pulse of light may feel like the snap of a thin rubber band or specks of hot bacon grease hitting the skin. A local anesthetic can be used to counteract this discomfort, but most patients do not require it. It's like a rubber band snap in your arm. It's not very bad at all. Surprisingly painless. Each treatment is very quick, only a few minutes. When it's over, the skin may whiten a bit and have pinpoint bleeding. The whiteness is going to fade. Uh, over the next couple minutes. Then, the remaining tattoo begins to fade slowly as the body's filtration system carries away ink. This occurs over the next four to six weeks until it's time for the next treatment. When brown spots are removed, the skin will whiten and then develop a slight blistering and bruising. This will heal in about seven to ten days. After the skin is treated, the doctor may apply ointment and a bandage. Then, to help prevent infection and scarring, home care should include keeping the area clean, treating with ointment, and protecting it with a bandage until the skin is completely healed. Patients may shower the next day, but should not scrub the treated area. Usually, only one treatment is needed to remove brown spots. Some birthmarks may return after several months to a year, but treatments can be repeated. And I'm really looking forward to the results. It'd be nice to have hands without the brown spots again. Tattoos require several treatments, spaced one to two months apart. This section right here has had one treatment done on it. This 